Well, what's up gamers and jamers? Today I'll be doing a video on speedrun strats for uh, the Octavia fight. And you'd think, hey, wouldn't it make sense to start the video at, um, at the actual station? To which I say, yeah, probably, but I wanted to show you guys my Octo link for a second. I just pressed the wrong button there. You'd think it would get easier, but absolutely... <laughs> Off to a great start. More observant viewers, and by that I mean my friends who have been to my house before, will note that this is my bed. And they ask, why the hell aren't you sat somewhere nicer? To which I say, shut up. <laughs> oh, I feel like my Joy-Con might be giving me some issues today. So the Octavia fight uh, for speedrunning, it's best to use the charger. But I am a chaos entity, therefore I want to get the best time using the brush. I believe right now the speed run, the best speed run with the brush is 4 minutes and 10. Also I just like drawing penises on the stage. You don't have to skip the cutscenes, but sometimes I do just to make things go quicker. Okay, so you want to get as close to him as you possibly can. You need eight hits to get to the next phase. Also, that can hit you on the swing back around, so just be careful. You never want to run out of ink like I just did. <laughs> yeah, be. No, that's bad, that's bad. Oh, because I'm talking, I am not paying attention, and that was very bad. That could have cost, that can cost about anywhere from five to Oh, even 20 seconds, maybe more. Yeah, this is bad. You can't hit the... You cannot hit the spinning punches back, as I'm sure you know. So... Oh, goodness gracious me. This is not optimal. Talking and running does not do... Oh, no! That's a run killer right there. If you get an inkjet on the first or second run, it's all over. You might as well restart. I won't be, just to show you guys the rest of the fight, but... You do not want that. You can make it go slower by forcing him to face you here, because of course he crosses much less of a, much less of the map in order to, um, yes, in order to, uh, my brain has broken. Slide across, so you can make it go, you can shorten it by about five seconds by staying near the edge. If he does it again, I'll show you with better um, explanation. So each phase takes eight hits, and you don't need to do you don't need to do this, but I think it's funny. So I do. You don't need to just throw the calamari bombs. I mean, you also don't need to draw a giant penis on the stage. But that's not a that's not a street speed run strap. That's just me. Hey, beach. Um. Yes, so eight hits to end each phase, and at five hits, he'll, there will be a line of dialogue from somebody. Ideally, you want to complete the first phase within um, 45 seconds. No! Okay, so this is a horrible run, but you see, he crosses much less of the stage here. Whereas, if he had done it in the middle, uh, that would have added at least five seconds on. Alright, we're not doing well at all here. That's two ink jets where they were necessary, and I've missed two punches. Usually I don't miss any punches, I don't know what's going on. But yes, a lot of it chokes down to luck. Like whether he'll do the uh, ink jet, whether, how many spinning punches he'll do. The other day I did a run where and it ended up being 6 minutes 10, and he just kept throwing spinning punches. That's at 8 hits, but at 5 hits he'll say something, or Murray will say something. It's very easy to spot. There will always be an inkjet. As far as we all know, there will always be an inkjet on the third phase. Maybe just for shifts and gigs I'll have him do it down the middle just to show how much longer it takes. We'll do that. See, this marks the middle of the stage. That'll come, into, come in handy later. It's a surprise tool that'll help us later. I was busy talking. Ha 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 Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't have my zoomies. There we go. Let me zoomie. 
Well, and this is why you pay attention with doing the run, kids. <laughs> well, had I been a more, um, ba less, if I had been a less bashful person, I would restart this video entirely. I'll try doing a nicer run after this. But right now we're just pushing around. Haha. <laughs> oh. I thought he was literally about to hit me in the face. I was like, yeah, I kind of deserve that one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. How'd you like this, bitch? Yeah, B. What's up, B? Him bunny. Uh, into the middle. Yeah, see? That's the inkjet. If he does it in the middle, it takes at least five seconds longer. You see all this? But also, you definitely never want that in the first or second phase. Because it takes about 15 to 16 seconds. And if you're going for big boy points, that is a significant amount of time. Like, that can drop you... 20 spaces in the rankings? So when that happens, uh, depending on whether you're doing it for fun or casual, <laughs> for fun or casual, I thank you. If you're doing it competitively, you might as well restart the run there. But if you're just doing it for fun, like, say, using the brush, then you won't have to worry. Okay, this is where the centre of the stage kind of comes in handy. This isn't necessary I just find this real funny um, I just like to shoot it there and already be squidding right in the center because that's see you shoot up now you move faster on the middle rail and it gets you but that's not too important it does get you closer to the fists which is good because you want to shoot them at, preferably as soon as they come out because they of course they have to reflect they have to deflect back and so, see, that takes longer. If you do it longer, it like swings all the way around and hits him. So it can save you a second or two to hit him closer. Of course, this isn't... <laughs> this isn't going to be a very good run. But it just helps to know these things. Do so you see these small spherical things? I was too busy explaining. Um... So the small bulbs in the center, in the like on the lines, you want to keep track of those because once you finally get that eighth hit, eighth hit in, um, that is where the ride rail to the center will spawn in, and it is ultimately possible to absolutely miss it and spend, oops, at least ten five seconds looping back around. haven't got many that oh no you see oh no that still worked but you can miss also it's bet you can save a second by not actually jumping at the end the game will not penalize you for that so it does not end there so you don't have to charge that to the full way but I find it doesn't really save a second or anything we're gonna do another run where I talk a lot less because that was possibly my worst run yet I think my best is 512 but also I cannot guarantee that it will be a very nice run especially due to a lot of the um, a lot of it being determined by RNG also hello you can probably see me when the screen goes black you can generally start with the brush because it zooms you get zoomies you can start it within three seconds. It can take anywhere from three to five seconds to start. It's two punches. Thank you, Sheldon. Does anyone else think that Sheldon kind of sounds like sounds when he talks? I like to get right underneath him because I use the brush. But you don't want to get too far underneath him. I believe that's four. Uh, that's five. And then you get a dialogue, see? Kylie says, tournament to calamari. 
So it's had five hits. It's a sort of way marker. It's kind of good to, t to stay on top of it. So far this is shaping up to be a perfect phase one, but I don't want to jinx it. Because he still could use the inkjet. No! Why? Why are you like this? Alright. I'm not going to restart, but generally that's just no. Because this should do it. Yep, and that's phase one done. It might be better to throw a bomb there, but from what I've experimented with, it doesn't really matter too much unless you're going for the top spot. Which, of course, as I've said, I only want... Right now, my only goal is to get the best score with the brush. Right now, it's looking not very possible because... Uh, some of the best runs I've done... Um, I'll already be almost on phase 3 right now, and we're still only starting, I don't even think we've landed a punch yet on phase 2, so this is not an optimal run, but we can still take it back in the later phases, provided he doesn't keep doing inkjet. Grok, there we go, we've got Grok, that means 5 punches. Why are you doing this? He's a giant penis for you. Because fuck you. Fuck you. If this is going on YouTube, this is very demonetized. Haha. <laughs> Should be one more and then we'll go up to the next phase. Yep. Ba 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 ba. And now we're on the final phase. Hey B. How are you all living? Yeah, fight me. Yeah, fight me. Yeah, fight me. Usually for that one, he will do a spinning punch with a normal punch. Yes, it is best to do this with the charger. <laughs> Just slap that power move, honestly. Also, this song slaps. I feel like that's mainly why I'm speedrunning this one. The music slaps. Oh, why are you like this? You're sweaty. You smell like fish. Yeah, babe. Try me. Where's he gone? Oh, yeah, you never want to lose track of him. That's not a pro strat. Also, if you do manage to get a phase free without, oof, without him doing the inkjet, please tell me or tell I don't know, post it some, post it somewhere because uh, we have never, we as a speedrun community have never seen that happen. But it would be interesting to see it. The best time so far, right now, as this, as I'm making this video, is 4.13. Uh, forgive me for not knowing the name, but it is a player from Japan. I am currently playing on the PAL version. Not the PAL version. Yes, the PAL version. No. Yes. Sorry. My brain broke for a second. I can't believe I bought an NTSC to PAL conversion just the other day. Just yesterday, from my SNES. Yet, I'm still like, wait. Which reason are they? Which reason are they? Like, hello? Ah, oh, so I love the backgrounds of this part. Mm, this is not a very optimal run. Whoa. What's up, buddy? I'm not gonna sing. I don't want you guys to know that I know the lyrics. <laughs> My brain just broke there. It's also a good idea to have breakfast before trying to do speedruns. Which I have not done. Uh, it's good to have meals before 
doing anything really so that your brain can comprehend what is going on and you don't end up just like getting socked in the face by a giant octopus. That's just that's just a life life advice for you. You know, could be applicable anywhere. Huh? Did I miss the dialogue? You see, that's I missed the ride rail there. Did I miss the dialogue? I swear he didn't say anything. Loki hurts my soul not to um, jump there, but it does shave some time off. You see, I didn't charge that right to the end there. That can save you milliseconds, but it's nice to do. I feel like that one is more for um, if you're doing a full run and you and you want a real game time score, because the in-game time, I think. Uh, milliseconds aren't going to like count much. Um, I'll finish that there and go grab some breakfast. I will not edit this video at all. If you can't hear me, sad. I mainly recorded this to show John. John, if you're out there, what's up, B? How you living? <laughs> okay, goodbye. Lol.